Hello guys and welcome again to another edition of Learning with Rich. Alright, so in this topic, I'm going to teach you how to record and play animations playback. Okay, alright, so I'm going to teach you how to create an animation in Autodesk Navis Works 2018. Okay, so in Autodesk Navis Works, there are two types of animation. Viewpoint animation and object animation. Okay, so in this topic, we are going to discuss uh, viewpoint animation. Okay, so viewpoint animation contains pre recorded user and camera movements in the model. Okay, so that is what we are going to do. So, viewpoint animation is a quick and efficient way of recording both your movement through the model and views of the model. Okay. Right, so let's get started. So as you can see, you should be familiar with the model that I'm uh, using now. Okay, so this is the default model of uh, Revit. This is an out-of-the-box sample file. So if you want to open this file, so all you have to do is to uh, select uh, sample files. And then you just need to select up one level, up one level. And then you look for Revit 2018. And then you just need to go to samples. And then just make sure file subtype here is all files. Okay. So that you'll be able to open the sample file here. So as you can see, this file that I'm opening right now is the RAC Advanced Sample Project. And then after I open it here in Navisworks, it creates a .nwc file. It creates a cache file. Right, so you can directly open the Revit file, but it will become a cache file. Okay, so this is actually a cache file. So this is the cache file. Okay, so once you open, this is now your model. Okay, so one good thing about Navisworks is after you open your Revit file in Navisworks, the file becomes very light. Okay, because it's just a cache file. As you can see, if I'm going to check the File size, you see it's only 2 MB compared to 15, uh, 15 MB Revit file. So if, if it becomes a Revit uh, Navis work file, it becomes a uh, 2 MB file. All right? So that's why you, are, you will be able to easily navigate your model in uh, Navis Works. Okay? So that's how powerful Navis Works is. Okay? So right now I'm using this tool to orbit my model. All right, so let's go to our topic. So I'm going to teach you how to create an animation. Okay, so this is very simple. Okay, it's very simple. So all you have to do is to save viewpoint. Okay, so just like what I have said earlier, viewpoint animation contains pre-recorded user and camera movements in the model. So how does it work? So let's say, for example, this is the first uh, frame that I want to include to the animation so what i'm going to do is from the save viewpoints in case this is close no problem you just need to select this from the viewpoint tab you just need to select this arrow here okay and then it will open the save viewpoints okay so let's say this is the viewpoint that i want to save so to save the viewpoint i already have a topic for that it's either you select save viewpoint here or you can right click the save viewpoints window so you just need to select say viewpoints and then it will now create the viewpoint all right so you just need to specify what will be the name so in my case i'll just leave it as it is all right so i just use the default so i just press enter okay again viewpoint it will save this angle so if i change this just like this one i change if i click again the viewpoints it will return to that view perfect all right so let me just change first the uh, view here, review, uh -huh. output, oh, where is that? Ah, okay, so from the viewpoint, let me just change the mode here to full render, okay, the render style. So this is the render style with the materials on it. How about the lighting? What about full lights? All right, so this is the model, all right? So from the render style, you can change here the, the mode as well as the lighting. 
Anyway, so after I create this one, oh, okay, so that's the problem. So let me just delete this first. And then I change the mode to full render and lighting to full lights. All right, so this is, all right, so this is now the view that I want. This is the first frame. So I'm going to right click here and then I'm going to save it. I just need to press enter, although you can change the name if you want. Okay, then after that, I'm going to look for another angle. So let's say I'm going to zoom in again using this tool to orbit. Okay, so let's say this one. All right. So again, I'm going to right click, save viewpoint, and then it records the movement of your camera. So I'm going to zoom in, pan. All right. So right click, save viewpoints, and then let's say I'm going to zoom in again. I'm going to pan a bit. It depends on what angle that you want. So just save the viewpoints, enter, right, orbit a bit, zoom out. So you can save as many as viewpoints as you want. Okay, zoom out, orbit. So right click, save viewpoints, enter. Okay, so it's not that difficult. Every time you watch Learning with Rich, this is one. This exercise is not difficult, okay? It's not that difficult. So you can always ask me. If I'm not busy, I'm going to answer you, okay? And don't forget to like my videos and subscribe to my YouTube channel, okay? All right, so I'm going to create more viewpoints. Right-click, say viewpoints. Zoom out, orbit. Okay, like this, right click, save viewpoint, okay, so I'm going to orbit, so right click, save viewpoints, alright, okay, so right click, save viewpoints, enter, okay, and then let's say for example, this is now my last viewpoint, okay, next. After we create all the viewpoints that we want for our model, the next thing that we are going to do is to create the animation. So to do that, all you have to do is to right-click to this portion of the Save Viewpoints dialog box or the Save Viewpoints uh, window. So you just need to right-click and then you will see here Add Animation. Okay, so see, it's not that difficult. Just always watch Learning with Rich. Yahoo! So enter. All right. So again, you can rename this one if you want. You can just rename that. Okay, let's say this is my animation. Animation. Enter. Okay. Then after that, what you are going to do, you need to place all of these viewpoints under the my animation. Alright, so to do that, you just click one viewpoint. One viewpoint, I mean, and then hold the shift and then you click the view, the last viewpoint. All right, so after you select all the viewpoints, you just drag that and then uh, move it over the name of the animation. You drag it and then you release your left click, and then you will now notice it's now under the animation, right? So to run the animation, so all you have to do is to select the animation. And then from here, there's your animation. So all you have to do is to play it. All right, so let's play. There you go. You see, it's not that difficult. I told you. Don't forget to share this to your friends. All right. Okay, you see. And you will notice as the camera moves, it highlights also the viewpoints, right? Okay. And then if you want, you can also adjust the speed of your animation. So I'm going to show you that later on. Okay. That's it. All right. So after that, if you want to adjust the speed, you want to make it slow, you want to make it fast, so all you have to do is to right click my animation and then you have their edit you click that you can change the duration so let's say for example 60 seconds 60 seconds and i'll just select okay or you can also loop playback so after 60 seconds it will go to the first frame 
it will uh, it the animate the animation will go continuously if you check the loop playback so let us try so i'm gonna check this let me just make it 50 and then i select okay right so let's try to run again the animation all right okay and then after that let us uh, wait until it finished you will notice it will return back to the first viewpoint and the animation will run again so it's endless okay okay oh and also don't forget to subscribe to my blog site and don't forget to support me okay because I also need to pay some of the subscription that I am paying if you only want okay <laughs> all right you just need to subscribe okay I see it's not that difficult to create animation in you see that's the loop right okay so I just escape and just click the first viewpoint so there you go that's how you create <coughs> the animation let me just check out how to export my animation so you just need to right click this uh-huh where's the export uh, export i go to animation you see there is the export animation okay so you just need to select this and then you can export your video as abi okay you just it's up to you how you want to adjust this portion so that's how you export it if you want to give this file to your client or to your team member so you can export that into an abi file you can export all the pictures PNG and bitmap okay there you go so hope this video has been helpful to you guys so if you have any comments questions or suggestions you just need to put it on the comment section below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can okay so once again don't forget to like my videos and subscribe to my channel okay so that it will encourage me to create more videos for you guys thank you once again this is Rich from learning with Rich have a nice day.